it's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, and we are here outside, and uh, we're about to drink some beer. Mike brewed a beer. He uh, brought out two pint glasses, and I can't wait to learn more about what I have here in front of us, and then hopefully we can somehow teach and, you know, all learn together about this particular style. Can't wait to hear more about it. Nice. <laughs> nice. So what is this? So um, lately I've been digging through big piles of old recipe sheets. Big piles. And just going back through some brewing history and of what I've been, what I've done over many years. Yep. And um, I, I remember this beer and I found the recipe sheet for it. And I used to brew a lot of ordinary bitter and best bitter, yep. things like that, yep. mostly ordinary bitter. And uh, so this is a best bitter that was an old uh, recipe of mine that um, I had brewed once a long time ago and I sort of enjoyed it and I realized, you know what, I gotta come back to getting more of these beers because these are usually hyper drinkable, super nice, tasty beers. Um, How old is this recipe? Is this what we're talking like 20 years this old? This recipe or? is probably, um, is 10. 10 years old. Definitely 10. Okay. The, um, let me give you the quick breakdown. So it's it's 82% uh, Golden Promise. It's a little over 8% of Karastin, uh, Baird's Karastan yes, malt, which is yes. like a, a, a light crystal malt. Yep. About 35 uh, Lovabon. And it's also 8% torrefied wheat, just to try to get some head retention. And just a touch, 1% of Carafa Special 2 to help with color adjustment. Uh, the hops in here is just a 60 minute hop edition of Admiral Hops. I've been, I had some of them using those there up, you right? There go. So, um, Admiral. Yeah, so Admiral at 60 minutes, and then I'm sorry, then there was another uh, one ounce edition of the Archer um, with like 10 minutes to go, just to give it that English hoppy character at uh -huh. the end. Um, the original gravity in this beer was 1048, yep. and um, we can talk about the finishing gravity. So, uh, oh, so this <laughs> I pitched this. She's got here, B. Uh, I pitched this. Um, this is actually a repitch of the British ale yeast, white yeast British ale yeast that went into the that Kvake and the stout. Stout yep. comparison. Yep. So it yeah, was yeah. A, just a repitch of that yeast. Okay. And I fermented this at a very pleasant uh, 68 degrees, and towards the end, I ramped it up. I let it, I let it get up to about oh, 72 good. to finish. Not, yeah. not a warm ferment. Not an 85 You're ferment. You're stopping yeah. that with English exactly. grains. Exactly. Thanks. So um, this is the beer. It still has some a ways to clear up a little bit, yeah. but I mean, it's. I think it's got the uh, that British that hue, you know, hue color there. Mm. Um, and so, tell me what you get. Um, okay, so. Um, I'm not getting much uh, hop aroma, but it's um, there's a bready toasty quality. There's a bready toasty quality on on the nose. Um, the first taste uh, that I had, um, it seemed a little phenolic. Yeah, in its, in its taste. It is. So, what happened? I think this is. Um, I'm going to probably dump this out. Okay. But I saved it. Well, I thanks. saved it for for this video because. Um, the phenolic thing isn't super strong. It's not like it doesn't no, hit you over the no, head no, no. right it's away, not right? But, yeah. but um, it's pretty subtle. It took me a while to convince myself that this beer had some level of contamination to it when okay. I was tasting it. And I don't, I don't exactly know where that came from because the stout that I took the yeast from as a repitch didn't have that. Still doesn't have it. It's you know. Yeah. Um, and the gravity of that other beer has been pretty stable. So I had to have picked this up either in the the fermenter or somewhere in transferring or maybe um, when I harvested the yeast mm. I didn't wasn't clean enough when I was harvesting the slug of yeast mm. um, I didn't use boiled and cooled water to sort of resuspend some of the yeast cake uh, you know I, but I've gotten away in the past yeah. that's I think a key aspect I've gotten away in the past with just using uh, I run my tap water for a bit first I let it run for like just 10 or 20 seconds and then I collect some of it and use that to resuspend yeast when I wanted to repitch and I pour it into a sanitized Container, maybe my container wasn't sanitized. I was sort of rushing to get it into the keg. So the interesting thing is the finishing gravity on this. So another, so the, the phenols, at first I was wondering, is it possible that it's stressed yeast yeah. from that hot ferment? Is yeah. it possible that oh, no. I'm not familiar with the Archer Admiral hop character? I think these were all excuses in my mind <laughs> to say it's not contaminated. So how, so the, the point of this beer, to show everybody this beer is, what, how would you, how do you, what's another way to know that it's contaminated? And the finishing gravity on this beer is 1.001. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty dry. Yeah. The funny thing is for being a whole pound of Karastan in here, mm. there really isn't much still there. No. Um, 
But the funny thing is, getting down that low in gravity, it's not like whoppingly contaminated. It's just very no. subtle, and you go, oh, there's some phenolics there. Yep. So I thought, at least for us, unfortunately, people at home won't really get this, but it is a pretty interesting lesson in convincing yourself that you are tasting what you're tasting. I right. eventually just had to convince myself, you know what? That is a phenol. It's not a weird hop thing. It's not a yeast thing. It is a phenol, probably from some wild yeast contaminant. Because hmm. it's, it's, it's a very subtle, you could, if it wasn't this dark, I could pass it, it you would almost pass it off as a, uh, a Belgian pale ale, right? Yeah. It's, 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 it's a little bit like yeah. that. Um, but you, when you know it's not supposed to be there, then you have to, yeah. so, so the question, so this, this video is really about how do you know when your beer is contaminated, <laughs> right? And you don't know for sure without doing some microbiology, but if you use your taste and your perception, this is what you get. Yeah. And uh, I think you're right. Um, you, you come up with like 10 excuses for why yeah. it tastes the way it yeah. is when probably you should probably stick with the most negative thing that could have happened. Yeah. Which is you rush the process, yep. you know, and you've gotten away with like, you know, cutting corners in the yep. past and you're like, ah, so gonna people who say, oh, I've done this in the past or that and I've never been a problem. And, you know, I've said to people, eventually it catches up to you. Yeah. This is an example where it caught up rushing a little bit caught up to me in this yeah. one pack. When this one, this I, one I hate that because you get super confident yeah. about it. Yeah. And then, then it's like, yeah, so it had to have happened at the time. It had to have happened in the fermenter or the time of pitching yeast because it hasn't sat that long package wise to pick up to develop this and and cold too. Right. So it, yeah. it really just hasn't developed. It's funny. I was like trying to like off the nose try to pick up anything that's off, you know? Yep. Cause sometimes you can smell it. <laughs> yeah. But night it, it, it has like, it smells great. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. It's right there. It's just that when you, once you drink it, you're like, Oh, that's so the, there's something. Off. So the interesting thing is I've, um, I've got all the ingredients to repeat this and a fresh pitch of the, the same yeast. Yeah, again. yeah. I can't wait for that. Cause I just want to, I need this beer in my life. I need a good, yes. and I have to recover now. I yes. have to like convince I know, myself. Exactly. Yeah, I, to, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to um, not cut corners. I just corners. think, I think for the, for the channel or whatever, I just think it's, it's important to be like, hey, sometimes this happens and it's okay. This it's okay. Happens. You just have to dump it out, recover. Yep. You know, like all the Facebook uh, home brewing groups, so there was that, there was, I saw a post and this guy was actually, I think it was a video of him like dumping his beer and he yeah. said like, this is the first time I've ever had to do this. Yeah. And it's like, well, as a part of the hobby, there's going to be that first time. And then there, you know, hopefully there's not many times, but you're going to have those times when you're just like, you know what? I have five gallons, 10 gallons of a beer that just isn't great. Yep. And you just got to feel good about yeah. like, all right, throwing it out. Even if it's not start contaminated, over. you just realize this, I just totally missed the mark on yeah. this recipe. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. You know, we do it again. Do it again. That's the whole thing about the, the whole yep. practice. Yep. You know, it's like it's always you're always striving to get a little bit better each and every time. Yep. Now I'm sounding like some kind of yoga teacher. I don't know <laughs> what I'm saying. Um, so thank you for this, I think. Um, well, I don't know where this fits in category. Is this um, off flavor? I, if I had a this, comparison, this is this is an, an off flavor, flavor video? Is it a sanitation video? It's an off flavor. It a... I'm glad like like the when I first tasted it, I was like, all right, I'm I'm hoping that uh, what he's trying to like prove to me is that like there is something yeah. off about it. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, it's a bit phenolic. I, I can't tell you how many times I've pulled a sample and tasted it yeah. to try to convince myself I wasn't going crazy. That it was because I really wanted this to to work out. Well, but. you are certified sane, friend. Uh, that's uh, phenolic beer. That's All sweet. right. Well, so the, the, the lesson here, and this is what, you know, I was, I was saying is, you know, what we should take from this, because, you know, we have had comments like, oh, thanks for sharing a video of like bad beer. But the whole yeah. point of these kinds of videos. We is, know this is bad beer. Yes. And to learn from our silly mistakes, you know, yeah. that's the whole thing. It's like it, it, we could have a whole channel where we like every beer we brew, we drink it and we say like, this is tremendous. And you should, you know, love our videos because, yeah. you know, we brew only tremendous beer, but I think that a lot of enough people have told us over the years, like you guys tell how it like, like it is. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's just okay. Yep. And certainly this is more on the bad side than to just, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's not horrible. No, it's not, but it's just but like, it's not right. But if you told me like, I, Hey, I made an ordinary beer. I'm like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I just kept telling myself, you know what? 
Yeah. The, the flavors are mostly there. It's it's too dried out yep. and it's just but it's it's just not great. Brewed again. I I think we I think like if you look back at our history, you'll see like I was like uh, I brewed a pilsner. I'm like I need a triumphant pilsner because I had a few attempts, yep. didn't yep. hit the mark, then hit the mark because I just went back to the drawing board. Yep adjusted whatever the heck I thought was yeah. wrong with the first attempt and then or second yeah. attempt <laughs> and the third attempt was good so brew, anyway brew on as they say brew on as they say who says that I don't. some goofball anyway you should check out our video about the uh, <laughs> the stout with English yeast and the Kvake with English uh, was sorry with uh, sorry the stout with Kvake yeast yeah watch that video and you'll learn the origins the start of this particular beer. Thanks for uh, watching a video like this if you like it. Regina Mike, brew brew on. Cheers.